Hello there. In this video, we will be getting started with downloading the materialize CSS files and setting up materialize CSS in brackets. Go to www.materializecss.com. At the landing page, we can see the basic template of materialize CSS about materialize CSS framework features and themes that are built using materialize CSS. On the left, we can find the menu items such as about, getting started, CSS, components, JavaScript elements, mobile, showcase, themes. In the about page, we can see features of materialize CSS, principles and about the team members who built materialize CSS framework. In the Getting Started page, we can see various methods of starting Materialize CSS framework such as Materialize CSS Download Method CDN Method We can see the project structure on how a Materialize CSS should be built. We can also see the HTML setup, which should be used in building materialized CSS websites slash web pages. Going further down, we can find the started template which can be leveraged for building the materialized CSS website. Now let us go to the top of the page, and download the materialized CSS framework files. Click on the download button. It will open a pop-up. Now click OK. This will save the framework files. Once the download is complete, click to open the folder where the file is saved. Copy the downloaded file and paste on the desktop. Now extract the files to a folder. In the extracted folder, we can see various files and folders. It contains CSS, JS, and fonts folder. Inside a CSS folder, we can find materialize CSS and materialize min CSS. Inside font folder, we can find Roboto font folder which contains font files. Inside JS folder, we can find materialize JS and materialize min JS. The files license and readme are general information about license on materialize CSS. Now that we have explored the materialize CSS folder, we can go ahead and start building the project. Click on brackets icon and open the application. Go to file and click open folder. Navigate and open the Materialize CSS folder which we extracted. Click and open the Materialize CSS folder. Once we have opened the folder, we can see various subfolders present in the project. Now we can right-click in the left panel and create a new file. Name the file as index.html. In any HTML project index is the file which loads in the server initially, that's the reason we name the file as index.html. Now let us go to materialize CSS website and copy the HTML setup code given in it. Paste the setup code in index.html. When we explore the setup code, we can see several components which start with a link. The link components help in importing slash linking the CSS files to the HTML file. We can see that there is a component which had material icon link, this is basically icon CDN which Google provide. This helps in adding icon to the website. We will be exploring about it in forthcoming videos. The second component links to the folder css slash materialize.min.css. We can check if we have this file in our CSS folder. Similarly, at the bottom, we can find two script components, they are used to link with jQuery or JavaScript files. The first script element links to the jQuery CDN, which is mandatory for several CSS and JS components of materialize CSS to function well. The second component links to the folder css slash materialize.min.js. We can check if we have this file in our JS folder. Now go to file and save the index.html file which we created.
Now go to the folder where we have to materialize CSS files and double click to open the index.html file. It will open in a web browser such as Firefox or Chrome, whichever is the default browser. Here we have Firefox as the default browser, hence it opens in Firefox. The page will be empty since we did not add any elements in it. In order to check we have linked all the CSS and JS components, right click and click to open page source. In there we can find 